to another gadget report let's talk gadgets and let's talk traveling uh, today i'm talking about something that um i've been hearing a little um especially on youtube channels uh, and uh, i decided to talk about this today because i think it is very important when in portugal what not to do in portugal because apparently there's a lot of things that are um done and um said about portugal that do not represent the truth so let's talk about it and let's see what to do and what not to do when visiting portugal so come with me let's talk at it so when visiting portugal a lot of people make um a lot of mistakes especially um in regards to the portuguese culture to the portuguese food and portuguese language uh, i see a lot of things that are usually lost in translation <laughs> and um, people may end up doing something that has nothing to do with the country uh, and the portuguese even though they may not say anything they just think oh well this is just silly so let's not be one of those if you want to visit portugal here is the things so uh one of the the biggest uh misconceptions that i see in regards to uh, the portuguese and uh, portugal is that people have that idea that the portuguese speak spanish so i see in so many uh TV shows, YouTube channels, etc. People visiting Portugal and trying to be polite, going to places and then saying gracias. Well, it's it might be very polite if you are in Spain or in any uh, uh, um, Spanish speaking country. However, that won't do anything for Portugal. In fact, the Portuguese will just think, well, I'm not Spanish, I'm sorry. <laughs> Portugal has its own language, it's Portuguese, and um, it, it is the main language, Portuguese, just like English from England. And then it has some variants. It has a variant from Brazil. It has uh, other variants in other countries like Angola, Mozambique, etc. But the two, the main variant is uh, the Brazilian Portuguese. And then you have the main language, which is Portuguese, which is the language spoken in Portugal. So uh, when in Portugal, if you really want to say thank you and be polite to the Portuguese, please don't say gracias. Please say obrigado. That's how you say it. Obrigado. And if you are a lady, because Portuguese have feminine and masculine, if you are a lady, please say obrigada. So don't forget that. That's how you say it. The same way when you enter a room, you don't say hola, because that's Spanish. You say hola, or most common when you enter a place let's say a restaurant, a shop, uh, somewhere where people, uh, the people there you don't know, you just say, um, just like you say here, good morning or good day, you, you just say, bon dia. It's usually, uh, if you say bon dia, well, it's the most common form. Uh, most, most probably you'll find this in the morning because in the afternoon you will say good afternoon and you would say boa tarde boa tarde so that's what you should do um please don't say buenas tardes because it's also wrong <laughs> so portuguese it's the language of portugal not spanish forget about the spanish they do not speak spanish and uh, uh, well ah and another thing uh, some people might try to speak in Brazilian Portuguese, which is way more acceptable. However, it is different. It's the same thing that if you go into the UK and you speak with American accent. Uh, well, if you try to be polite to the British and you speak with American accent, it doesn't, doesn't go that well either. So uh, even though it's much better than if you go to 
to London and you start speaking Spanish or Portuguese, of course, it would be better because it's at least it's the same language, but it's the same. It's a variant rather than the main language, we see, which is the language uh, spoken in England. So the same for the Portuguese. Try to, uh, if you really want to be polite, as I said in most of uh, YouTube videos talk about this, a lot of people in Portugal speak English. It's a very um, common language there. However, obviously, if you really want to be polite and if you really want to be uh, immerse in the culture, which I think it's great. Um, be aware that the country has its own language and it's Portuguese and you don't speak Spanish there. Now, another thing and special on YouTube, I always see this and it's so annoying. I must say it is annoying. It's the culture. It's the culture. Portugal, obviously, like any other country in the world has its own culture. Of course, everywhere in the world, countries are becoming more multicultural, but there's always that identity, there's always that core culture of each country, and it's no different for Portugal. So it is a little funny when I see um, videos, for example, on YouTube or even on TV, and they um, or even advertising for, uh, I, I saw here in Australia advertising for a, a Portuguese or Portuguese uh, based um, fast food chain with um, Spanish music on the background with flamenco. Well, it's a no no. At least when I see a tourist uh, making these mistakes, I kind of, uh, well, it's a tourist, it's someone that may not know. But when I see a YouTube channel or, uh, for example, in a TV uh, uh, advertising campaign with such blunders, I think it's, anti it's, it's not professional. It's not professional. At least people should do their research and understand that flamenco is from Spain. Portugal does not have that. That's, that does not belong in the Portuguese culture. So uh, if you are talking of something that is related to Portugal, you cannot put flamenco because that's Spanish. The same way that if you are talking about something that is traditional in Portugal, in Portugal, you do not put samba because that's the traditional dance from Brazil. We need to um, understand the differences between cultures and the differences between countries because this is each country has its own identity and its own culture and we need to respect that so we need to understand and if you are having a, a youtube channel uh, and you can't do a simple piece of research as this then I would say, uh, well, it's not good. And, and for the TV channels and for companies that charge an arm and a leg for a marketing campaign on TV and they put something that is related to Portugal because that particular fast food chain uh, has a Portuguese name and it's related to Portugal and the founders of that fast food chain were actually Portuguese, no longer, but they were uh, Portuguese and they put flamingo on the background, it's not acceptable. In that particular case, it is not acceptable. So another thing, Samba is from Brazil. The Portuguese like it as well, yes, but it's not cultural from Portugal. And another thing, another thing, and this is inside Portugal. Uh, Fado is said to be the national song. Well, it isn't. It isn't. It's another thing that is commonly said about Fado. Fado is a very sad type of music um, that happens in Lisbon. There's another type of Fado in Coimbra that it's a bit more upbeat and it's Fado de Coimbra. It's not a national thing. You don't see Fado in other parts of the country. Fado is usually in Lisbon, the more sad um, type of fado, which usually was sung um, by women whose uh, husbands and boyfriends went 
to the sea, they were fishermen or, or other, um, or they, they were uh, in the discoveries and they were uh, um, missing them and that was about them and sometimes uh, losing them if they happened to be in an in a accident and they died. So that's the, the Lisbon Fado and then there is a more upbeat Fado in Coimbra, usually um, produced by the students because Coimbra is well known for its university, was the first university in Portugal um, that was started by a king called Dom Diniz. Um, so that his, his uh, nickname was the, the Educator. So um, another thing, it's not a national thing. There is, there is a, a folklore in Portugal and each region has its type of folklore. So there is not one as, as the same for food. There's not just one song that is for the whole country and there is not one food that is for the whole country. Each region has a variety of things and in terms of uh, music and in terms of folklore, each region has its own folklore, its own dance and it's amazing. If you go to Portugal, try to see this because this is the real Portugal, this is the real culture of Portugal and it's amazing. And now the food. Please, if you go to Portugal, try the local cuisine do that effort. Um, I've seen a, a YouTube channel, I actually uh, spoke about this before, uh, and they did a very good job. They are Danish and they are living in Portugal and um, they have been trying to show Portugal to the world and one day they themselves fed up with, with all of this. They saw the reviews on TripAdvisor and all of that for the best restaurants in Lisbon and they find out that all the best restaurants in Lisbon were Italian restaurants and all sorts of cuisines except for the Portuguese cuisine and they were really fed up with that and they made a video about that they went to all those restaurants on TripAdvisor they rated them themselves and then they showed which restaurants they were living in Lisbon before they live in Madeira now they were living um, in Lisbon and they also showed for them what's the best restaurants for Portuguese cuisine and they even recommended a lot of dishes uh, that they like, that they love and they told people please come and try the Portuguese cuisine. If you are in Portugal I think that's a must. Another thing that uh, and living in Australia I hear this every day that the Portuguese national dish is the charcoal chicken. Well it isn't, it isn't. We love our charcoal chicken, we love the barbecue chicken, it's everywhere in Portugal, everywhere you go there's uh, shops that sell the, the, the charcoal chicken, however that's not the national dish. In fact the origins of this dish are from Africa, as you know Portuguese, uh, the Portuguese colonized several countries in Africa such as Angola and Mozambique etc and this is uh, apparently coming from Angola that had this uh, it was also very common in, in Mozambique and that's how they created the charcoal chicken and then it was brought up to Portugal and of course became very popular because everyone loves this barbecue. It's not the national dish, it's not even, uh, its origins are not even Portuguese, they are African and please that is not the tr traditional or national dish. As I said there is not one traditional dish for Portugal you have plenty. You have the famous bacalhau, the, the, salt, uh, the dry salted cod, many dishes with uh, uh, dry salted cod, you have uh, seafood, amazing seafood, Portugal has a long coastline and you will see uh, amazing seafood, you have um, meat dishes, you have all sorts of dishes for everyone. Each region, again, each region has its own traditional dishes and I did a collection of um, videos about the Portuguese gastronomy, so please uh, follow uh, my channel, I will have, I have all the, the uh, videos about that, I did it I believe it was last year and I go through all the regions and I talk to some of the traditional dishes from Portugal. So again, try the Portuguese food, don't go for, for Italian restaurants or for Spanish restaurants or whatever because obviously if you are in Portugal you might as well try the Portuguese culture, don't forget that. 
I think if you do this, these things, you will have a much better experience. You will experience the country, you will experience the culture. You will know a little bit more about Portugal. If you haven't been there before, if you haven't had any, any contact with the culture, it would be another culture that you know, another culture that you have contact with. And then you will obviously choose which, which in the terms of food, for example, which dishes are for you and which dishes aren't. Of course, some dishes you might not like, but that's normal. It is very important that you uh, choose for yourself and that you experience the country in its, in its, on its whole, I guess. That's what I do when I go overseas. I try to, uh, the food from overseas, I try the food of the country where I'm in because I think that's, that's how it is. That's how it should be. And in regards to the language, please stick to the Portuguese. Don't try to speak Spanish. It's not very good. <laughs> and the Portuguese won't appreciate it for sure. So for today, I hope you liked this gadget report. I hope it brought you a little bit of uh, information about Portugal and um, it really opens horizons. If you really want to visit the country, I would recommend. It's a nice country to visit. It has lots of history, lots of monuments, lots of things to see, lots of things to do. Um, if you like going to the beach, there's plenty of them uh, along Portugal. As I said, it has a very long coastline. Um, but if you like the, the countryside, there's plenty, plenty there to see as well. Uh, each region of Portugal, it's a gem. It's a has a different thing for you to visit and for you to experience um, the people are nice the portuguese are very welcoming they like uh, to welcome their tourists and they always welcome you with a smile and of course the food is amazing everyone says that the portuguese food is amazing well i i i would say yes it is it is uh, quite nice it's a very nice food very simple it's nothing fancy, nothing complicated. It's a very, very simple food, but it's done with great ing ingredients and um, authenticity and love. And that, I think, translates in great dishes that you can experience from north to south. And you will find that, for example, uh, when you go to the south, you, you'll find more seafood dishes and you will find um, every single region you will find uh, um, a predominant ingredient that will come through and you will have plenty plenty of stews plenty of roasts plenty of everything you will find very 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 good options from north to south just try them all just experience the country and let me know in the end what uh, what do you think leave leave me a comment below have you ever been to portugal have you ever spoke Spanish when you were in Portugal or oh, Portuguese Brazilian. <laughs> Have you ever thought about flamenco when you go to Portugal? Um, just let me know. Let me know if you have done any of these mistakes or um, if you have uh, seen and identified this as mistakes. Let me know. Have you been to Portugal? What was your experience? Did you like it? What was your best region? What was your best food? What did you like most about Portugal? And of course, what did you like the least about Portugal? And, you know, leave a comment below and let's talk about this. You know, put a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a new gadget report every week. Before I go, I would like to thank you all for watching. See you next week. Have a good one. Bye.